The finale is here for the Bottled and Bond Fight Flight, and it starts now. Welcome back to That Bourbon Dude. My name is Charles and I am happy to see you guys today because we have a special one. Today we are concluding our Bottled and Bond Fight Flight and we have three champions moving forward to the finale and we are going to walk out of here with one ultimate Bottled and Bond champion. All right, I'm going to start over here on my right side and introduce these bottles to you coming in from Bardstown, Kentucky, representing the Bardstown Bourbon Company Origin Series. This is their Weeded Bottled and Bond. Next up is our underdog that is coming out ahead in every turn. This is the, the J.W. Dant Genuine Sour Mash. This is the Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey 100 Proof Bottled and Bond representing Heaven Hill Distillery. And our current uh, favorite to win is going to be representing the Buffalo Trace Distillery and it will be the Colonel E.H. Taylor Small Batch Bottled and Bond 100 Proof. All right, folks, we are here. The finale is happening. We are going to be crowning a champion today. All right. So as usual, my wife has uh, set up these for me. I don't know what they are. And most importantly, I still don't know what I'm doing. Maybe eventually that will change. I'm gonna start over here on my left side, going left to right, and we're gonna find out how this plays out. Okay, number one. Whew, boy, that one's a little something there yeah so uh, this one right off the rip here is sweet and dusty giving me some youthful notes I might be wrong most of the time I am let's give it a shot Okay, that boy don't play. Um, wow. It may not have delivered in the pregame, but when she hit the pallet, we're talking Mike Tyson swinging for the fences here. Came out punching. Good and spicy, and for it being 100 proof, <laughs> it shouldn't be that spicy, but it is. The mouth feels great. Maybe um, slightly sweet, a little oaky. It's not bad. Let's try sip number two. Wow, I really enjoy that one. But, you know, these are three champions coming forward to face off, and I picked the champions, so I clearly like them. Let's just see which one of these champions has what it takes to be number one. Number two. Oh my gosh. What the heck is that? That baby right there. Son of a biscuit. Take a look at that one. Gosh dang. I wish you guys were here with me. This is amazing. This is sweet. It's bready. Give me like a little um, like bakery vibe. Dang. Let's give this thing a shot. Holy moly. My goodness, these things are good. It's oily, it's buttery, viscous, sweet, hitting me good in the mid palate with the spice. Wow, what a mouthfeel on that one. Man, the second sniff here is a little bit more maybe woody pencil shavings. Wow. 
I can tell you right now, this thing advanced to the finale for a reason. This thing is awesome. Number three. Ooh, she's different. Boy. <laughs> it's like this one's not even playing for the same team. This one, uh, like a little mossy basement, wet rockish. Now, none of those those uh, notes there are negatives. These are not knocks to this one. Those are things that I enjoy. Take a look at it, boys. What do y'all think? Yeah, let's give it a shot. It's got that, <laughs> I'm gonna call it that stank to it, man. It's good. This thing here, I don't know. I'm attracted to weird flavors. You have like everybody else's palette and then you've got mine kind of standing off over here in the corner. And I typically don't follow the, the, the normal parameters of what bourbon drinkers like. I like obscure, weird flavors, not because that they're strange, it's just because they're different than everything else. You've got 50 million different bottles that all taste the same, and then you find one that you're like, oh crap, what the heck is that, you know? And that is what this is. I mean, somebody just poured a what the hell is in this glass. Mm. Jesus Christ. All of these are champions, but one them can be number one. There can only be one, right? And it's going to be difficult because all of these are so good. Before I start kicking these out, drop in the comments what you think number one is going to be. Okay? I'm going to run these back the other direction. We're going to kick out that first one because I'm telling you, it's going to be hard. The first and second place on this thing is going to be difficult because all of these fit my palette well, but I have to focus not on what the bottles are in front of me, but how they hit me today, right now, in this moment. Whew, my goodness. I mean, there's a thousand different things this could be off the nose but there is something there that reminds me of another bottle and it's clearly not here but it reminds me of another bottle that I have searched for for years and I just recently found all right gosh wow okay so it's a little thinner than the other two, but it brings something totally different. So I, I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm gonna psych myself up here for this one. I don't I don't know. It's it's ridiculous. Okay, right here, number two. Jesus Christ, boys! I hope you guys are taking the opportunity. If you have these bottles or something close to it, blinding these, finding out what you really like, don't let the label um, sway your decision on what you like. You might just pick up one, you might be like, hey, this is good, but is it really good or is it because that name on that bottle made you pick that? There's like pencil shavings, there's sweetness, there's butteriness, there's a savory side, there's a, a desserty confectionery side to this. We're on a roller coaster headed into Flavor Town, you know. Gosh. <laughs> I mean, that one makes me smile. If you pick up something and you take a sip of it, 
and it makes you smile, you probably like it. Good grief. Okay, back to number one. <laughs> They're so good. How could I choose? Oh my gosh. My goodness. It's so sweet. It's like, there's like a, um, like a glazed donut sweetness to this thing. I, guys, girls, whoever the heck's watching me, buy all three of these and do this blind. You send me an email, we'll talk. I, I'll make a live stream out of it. We'll get together. Hmm. My goodness. My goodness. That thing right there. I think the kids are saying slaps these days. That bottle, that pour, slaps. Gosh dang. It's got that oaky sweetness. I don't even know how to even pick. I love all of these. But, but, we have to have a champion. And I do know what number three is, despite the fact I give it such high praises. So number three is going to be this one. And let me kind of try to explain myself uh, why this one comes in third. And it's not a knock on it, but it's so far different from these two that it's off in a category of itself. And, and if, you, if I was at your house and you poured me this, I'd be absolutely happy with it and there would be nothing wrong with this i would smile drink it and enjoy the absolutely hell out of it it's a great bottle great pour whatever the hell it is but these two maybe we came over to visit and we hadn't seen each other for a while and you busted out something a little special that's where these are at this is like hanging out with your next door neighbor this is hanging out with your best friend you ain't seen for a while. And that's where we're at. That's where first and second, second, first, whatever. I, I, I don't know. But these are good. So let's let's revisit these and find out what the heck I'm going to do. Because this right here is going to be hard. Oh my Jesus. Gosh dang. Can we have two number ones or would that make 11? I don't know if that makes sense, but it does up here, so <laughs> we'll see. Okay, off the nose, they're freaking ridiculous. On the palette, that one just knocks my daggum socks off. <laughs> if I was wearing socks. Let's try this one. I know the champion. I know who number one is, without a question. Before I say it, put it in the description, or sorry, in the comments, let me know which one you think is number one. Y'all ready? This is not an easy decision. It's not easy at all. All three of these are awesome. If you have them, drink them, enjoy them. They're great. I love them. These are the three champions that move forward. And it saddens me to have to pick one of these as the ultimate champion because they're all so good. But today one has reigned supreme above the others. So let's find out what that is. Coming in in our third place is going to be whatever B is. I'm just going to pick over here. All right. It has happened. It's hard to come across these, uh, beat these Titans. It, you know, Mr. Dant here has not reigned supreme, but he has fought a valiant fight and nobody can say anything else. So you get the opportunity to buy this bottle, pick it up. They're like 15 bucks, super awesome. If 
they're not in your area, which they're kind of not for everybody. They're only in a few. Come to Kentucky, pick them up. You'll enjoy it. Okay. All right. Let's find out what number two is. Number two. Or number two. Huh. What is that? Whew. All right. Here we go. I did not see that happening. That one right there got me. I thought that this one was this one the entire single time I was sipping it. I want to be honest with y'all. I thought that was going to be my champion. I love that bottle. If you have not picked up the Bardstown Bourbon Origin Series Bottle and Bond, we did. Okay, let me read this mash bill to y'all. Okay, this is 68% um, corn, 20% rye, 12% malted barley. This is an awesome bottle. And let me tell you how to, uh, to beef up the flavor of this thing. Stick it in the freezer. Get this baby cold as hell and then bring it out. Put it in your glass, let it breathe. The, something about the transition from it being incredibly cold to being room temperature transforms this bottle. And it's just like eating at a bakery, drinking at a bakery. This It's crazy. And that means our champion is going to be our Colonel E.H. Taylor small batch coming in from Buffalo Trace is going to be our champion here. I, um, I knew it was going to happen because that's... That, that distillery has pumped out some amazing bottles for a long time. And this being the lower end of the E.H. Taylor line is amazing. I prefer this over the single barrel every single day of the week. I have tried many, probably close to 10 different single barrels in the last maybe two years and the small batch has reigned supreme over it every time. It is a consistent profile and it is amazing. And I'm not saying that the single barrels have not been great, but there has been enough of a difference that made me say, okay, this bottle at like 40 something dollars is way better than stepping up to that. I think it's like 65 or $70 for the single barrel. So buy this one when you see it, enjoy it, drink it, share it with your friends, let people try it. Don't be stingy with your bourbon. Not everybody has the same opportunities as you or myself or anybody else. So until next time, Bourbon Dude out. <laughs>